welcome Sumit Batra in the Hall of Fame of Information Developer Foundation. Sumit is one of my oldest student. I think it's a decade now he ever studied from me and today he's a mentor. So it is uh, really a pleasure for me when you see your student growing like this and he has done almost everything under the sun for te in technical writing. Uh, so Sumit, welcome in the show, Hall of Fame. You are really a man who was uh, really helping a lot of people I like, come to know from a lot of uh, the students like Sumit is doing quite good and is helping right so Sumit uh, tell us what is your journey yeah thank you Rahul sir thank you for having me to this podcast so I have been a tech writer all my life now so it's been close to 14 years now that I'm working as a technical writer uh, I'm working with Siemens Noida as a lead technical writer and UX writer so it's about uh, so my sound experience lies with technical documentation, content management, content strategy. I've also mentored and trained a lot of technical writing stu students or newbie writers make a transition into this career. So it's had been an enriching career so far. I started off my journey, journey with ILFS Technologies, where I was a software developer, and then eventually decided to move into tech writing because I thought that it's because my cap I thought that my capabilities and strengths lies as a technical writer and I can contribute better as a technical writer. That's why I switched my field from a software developer, but software development has given me an edge to actually understand the development methodologies or technologies. Like I have worked previously as an API writer as well. So that's about it. I'm very happy to be a part of a products information developers. Also, I met uh, Rahul sir, like uh, maybe 12, 10, 12 years back, where I had the opportunity of being being mentored by him. I think it's a it's a very brilliant experience, enriching experience, learning from your mentors, and that's what I'm doing right now, giving back to the writing community. This is the wonderful thing you can do, Sumit. And uh, I like you are still using the word Aparadox. Aparadox is our old name. Uh, in 2017, right. we changed from Aparadox to Information Developer Foundation. So I really love to right. connect with the people who still remember me uh, as an Aparadox. Cool. So, Sumit, uh, from development to uh, technical writing, uh, you said that uh, you like technical writing, but uh, what triggers you, right? And how was this transition? And why? Uh, so, I got a campus placement with ILFS Technologies. That's the first company which I joined. So, I was into software. I was into uh, software development, and I was working as a software developer for ASP.NET in C Sharp. So these were the Microsoft technologies which I was working on. But side by side, I was also working on various uh, technical proposals or you can say very technical documents as well. So there was no such uh, no such profile that existed maybe 14 years down the line. Like I, I started off in 2010. So there was no such profile of a technical writer. And in my company as well, there was no such technical writer that was taking care of the technical documents as well. So I did my, I did my research research about it and I came to note that there's a profile that exists in IT industry in 2010. So, and I was more inclined into uh, technical writing because being a, being an engineer by profession, I, I found that I have a decent enough skills in, in decent enough skills in uh, speaking and writing. So why not, why not capitalize on my strengths? Software, software development do gives you an edge. Like I won't say that it's a bad field at all, but uh, I think we should we should capitalize on our strengths and do what we feel like doing every time. So that's why I made a switch. Uh, parallelly with software development, I was into designing the complex uh, wireframes or maybe the diagrams, working closely with the UI UX team, working on certain prototypes as well. Uh, so, and I was also working with uh, delivering technical documents as well. So it, so in and all, uh, in a nutshell, I think, I re quickly realized that uh, it is important to capitalize on your strengths and do what you feel like doing. So that's why I made a switch from a software development to technical writing. Perfect. So it's now more than a decade in this industry. So what kind of change you have seen, right? So where you see technical writing going now? Yeah, I think with uh, Gen AI into the picture, I think it, it becomes a lot more important for technical writers to upscale yourself. It's so the way we now deliver documents is more customer focus. It's more customizations where in the past we used to rely on Microsoft Office to deliver technical documents. Like it's more of a personalized experience. 
it's more of understanding the pain points and challenges of your user and coming up with not only so it's in the past we used to deliver user manuals that were thousand pages where a single writer used to devote a lot of time now the tool set and technology has evolved you need to be very much proactive and you have to understand the audience very well and then come up with solutions what fits the bill so it's about with gen ai i think you need to be more productive like gen ai will be impacting technical writing industry but i don't think it'll take it will have a very much impact on technical documentation i think we in the way in which we deliver documents that will change uh, but i think the human touch or the human behavior will be more a forefront runner in coming years okay so in current job do you use gen ai uh we do like we have an internal gen ai like we have microsoft autopilot where we we do some runs of gen ai like we use use gen ai in a technical document but not completely because we are still awaiting uh, input from a company on how we should be capitalizing data or how we should be storing data so so data privacy is one issue uh, is one major component i think where we need to watch out for but we have not implemented gen ai completely we i normally use gen ai to maybe do my initial research maybe coming up with a draft or maybe doing my uh, audience analysis but we do that but not completely maybe in coming years maybe two or three years down the line maybe i could see gen ai coming into the picture and maybe be as tech writers uh, moving more into gen ai technologies and exploring that to streamline our technical documentation processes perfect so sumit till now uh, in which company you have worked so how many companies you have worked till now uh, so yeah yes yeah, so i started off with ilfs technologies where i was working as a software developer and tech writer then i moved to birla soft i was working as a proposal writer there because uh, i was hired for a project that was ramped down so i was working with as a proposal writer where i was working closely with delivering rfis and rfps were, were working with multiple bid managers and uh, the bid owners then i moved to uh, nagaro mm -hmm. nagaro is a, another big company which is doing great Yes. Uh, I was working there as a lead, uh, as a senior technical writer and I on an IC role individual contributor and then I moved to Serion Labs like mm -hmm. they were looking to they were looking for an experienced writer to set up their processes and come up uh, with a writer that could uh, create not only content strategy but also understand the complex uh, customer requirements so I worked there for a while about about 2 years and then I moved to Global Logic I was working for a client named Ericsson. I mm -hmm. was handling their end-to-end uh, -end technical documents. They had a complex product where I was working with uh, Ericsson as a major client. That was a really enriching experience working closely with telecom giant, understanding the telecom technologies. Mm -hmm. So from there, I worked with Global Logic for more than three years now. So then I made, I got a good offer with Siemens. where they were looking for an individual contributor to handle their uh, product their to smart metering and energy utilities of domain mm -hmm. so i am working with siemens now it's more than 3 years again so it's my sixth company now wow so uh, so you must have also interviewed many technical writers right so right. what <clears throat> major challenge you see uh, when hiring technical writers right where technical writers should focus more to be more uh, employable right i think it's important for you to actually evaluate your strengths like most of the cvs which we uh, go through do not match with the jd so it's important for you to fill the gaps capitalize on your key strengths see what you want to learn so in this in this world of changing trends i think you need to be flexible enough and be trainable enough you should have a sound attitude like you should be capable enough to tra train yourself on new skill set and technologies that's very important so i see gen ai i see data xml is one core technology which technical writers should focus on with more ui ux designing or ux focus centric designs coming into the picture i see ux writing also gaining a lot of recognition in years to come so ux writing is one very important as a technical writer is to understand the domain very important very crucial aspect as a tech writer is the domain that you're working with so it's important for you to periodically talk to your teams talk to your stakeholders be it product managers or the bid manager or the quality managers and come up 
understand the strategy point of view also understand the product side of things as well the business side of things as well very important for a technical writer most of the technical writers want to learn the technical side of things but it's important to learn the business side of things as well so i i got an opportunity like in siemens i got an opportunity to learn the tips and tricks of product management as well so that helped me immensely understanding the product side of things and what we are delivering to our customers in near future as well so it's it's about mix and match you need to understand the technologies you need to learn yourself you need to be flexible enough to actually make yourself uncomfortable learn new skill sets going forward that's that's the way to only way to survive in it industry perfect so if i ask you what is one of your favorite question right so while taking the interview so what will be that i would say like there are many to be honest but first interaction would be is about when we when you want to tell something about yourself that's very crucial because that's a key interaction which which you have with the writer first so it's important for you to be very straight forward very crisp and concise when you answer these questions most of the writers they have come across they start blabbering a lot of content but they do not find we do not find real value what they want to say so it's important for you to set the context right i think first impression is the last impression as they rightly say so it's important to set the context and take your interview from there because that's because here and there it could go either way so very very important for you to set the context right and say things which is appropriate according to your profile and skill set so a lot of technical writers also focus on tools right so how important right. tool knowledge is for uh, getting hired uh so i have seen many organizations rejecting experienced technical writers because they don't know a particular skill set or a tool set that's completely wrong i think it all depends on how flexible you are to learn the tool set because i have been fortunate enough to work in multiple companies and i've worked with different tools all my life so in siemens we work on confluence in serion labs i used to work on help authoring tools like robo help in ericsson i was working with data xml oxygen so it's very important like the it it actually dictates the way how you are delivering your output to the customer but i think uh, when you when you are working for a specific client or a specific company i think with experience and learning the tips and tricks it becomes easier for you to learn the tools but very important for you to have a diverse tool set like if you are fortunate enough or maybe if you have time during after office hours or maybe on weekends spend some time learning the new tools that are there in the market it will only expand your horizon and skill set perfect so uh, when i meet uh, new technical writers they are always scared that ai will take their job right so do you think it is uh, ai going in that direction well i don't think so to be honest mm mm-hmm. i have seen a lot of, i've seen a lot of articles spreading on linkedin i've read a lot of articles online as well ai taking your i don't think ai will take your job it it's it is only it will only make your job a lot more better i think it will make you more productive it will help you to automate your mundane tasks i think it will give you a good start when it comes to your first draft of technical document but i don't see ai taking into the picture because human touch still remains a top favorite for customers around the globe that's what i have i have experienced talking to a lot of customers like in siemens as well ai gen ai will like it will only work on the data that you feed to the model so i don't i don't think we should be scared enough of gen ai taking a job but i think we should be smart enough to uh, maybe automate our task or we become more productive rather than being scared i think with uh, with the change in the technologies and with the market trends i think it's important for a technical writer to evolve and get better with the new technologies that are coming in the market but i don't see jni taking up jobs it will impact the workforce but i don't think it will take a chunk of jobs very true uh, that i also firmly believe our tools will be much more smarter right robo help will right. be more more smart and uh, our tools will be more smart right so they will working as our assistant rather than our master absolutely absolutely so many of our listener uh, will think that you are a developer 
so it was easy for you to transition from uh, development to technical writing so do you think that development background or be background or be tech background is important to get into technical writing i don't think so like i have seen a lot of friends of mine who have mentored or trained in the past like they were from the aerospace domain and they were from different uh, one one of my references which i trained a few years back was uh, i think from a biotech domain also so technical so it is not important the initial degree that you take up will help decide your career it's it all comes down to how how badly you want to be a technical writer it's all is your hunger to succeed so it's not about like development do gives you an edge to understand technology but at, at the end of the day you should be smart enough you should be hungry enough to learn about the domains or the tool set that is existing in the market so so very very important like very important i want to very important thing i want to point out is like it all comes down to how badly you want to make a transition i have seen a lot of technical writers make a transition to some other profiles like product management and i have seen a lot of developers or testers being uh, making a transition to technical writing because just they feel that it's it's a very easy profession it's not to be honest it's not at all like you need to be a lot on your toes you need to do be effective in your communication you need to follow up with stakeholders a lot so nothing comes easy in life so domain like having a technical domain will only have give you a good head start but if you are from a different domain and you you need to get good guidance or mentoring from people i think then you can easily make a transition to technical writing perfect <clears throat> so what i understand like be degree or b tech degree uh, is not that important even you are right. from developer background uh, it barely matters definitely it can be edge for you right so uh, your mentees uh, were also from uh, like biotech background and aerospace background right? i mean to right. say diverse background right so your background doesn't matter it's your hunger and it's your uh, approach how you are taking the approach what actions you are taking uh, to take a transition that's matter a lot right so Absolutely. i agree with you firmly agree with you right i still remember uh, when i asked you uh, when you was a young boy and you came in my office and i asked you why you want to move from developer to a technical writing your answer was do you remember your answer i don't think so maybe you can tell me yes you said that it was going to be a good technical writer than rather than a bad technical bad developer okay right right so, right that was really that uh, still that stick in, in me right uh, so it is important that what you are doing uh, you are doing good so you choose technical writing and uh, look what you are doing today like you are making other uh, people to transition to this career right? so we should choose uh, what we love to do every day just because uh, something is fancy or you have heard about it or some your xyz is doing this so you should do that mm -hmm. you should not uh, follow that uh, rat race okay so technical writing is definitely definitely a well paid uh, job so coming to the right. well paid right so what do you think what kind of salary technical writers uh, get right is it part to develop a or do you regret like moving from development to technical writing i don't think i regret it i think i've worked with multiple companies to have a competitive salary but yes have having more salary at the end of the day matters a lot but it's it's in, i think the salaries are after after pre covid and after covid have jumped up significantly so i've seen a lot of technical writers with experience from ranging from 2 to 6 years having salaries from 8 to 10 lakhs as well so it it all depends on what what are your growth aspirations and how badly you want this job so i don't regret like being like i should be in a development domain i think i'm happy with what i've achieved so far and i think i'm pretty much uh, flexible to maybe take up more challenging roles in the near future salaries i think it all depends on how what opportunity you get in the market but i have seen a lot of friends of mine who are getting being paid good salaries despite being junior technical writers as well so salary is no bar if you have proven yourself in the market or you have the right skill set i think money will always follow that's true we should follow the skill because when you see the technical writers in uh, good companies like google microsoft and uh, many good companies like adobe i know a few technical writers who is earning in cpa that is crore per annum uh, right Uh, so it is possible if you have a correct skill set and you are in the correct organization 
All right. So it's all uh, upon your uh, skill set. All right. And also you said like uh, product management, right? So technical writers have should have very good knowledge of product. Then only you can write in depth about the product. So how easy for technical writers? Not easy, I will say. How convenient it is for technical writers to move toward product management side? So there are like there are some skills that technical writer require over a period of time. Like it could be stakeholder management or top-notch communication, or it could be repo building with your stakeholders, being part of agile manifesto or being part of agile meetings. So I like I was working as a shadow resource previously also. Like I worked as a product owner for a couple of months with Ericsson. Like they had an opening, internal opening. So I was interested in learning the tips and tricks for product management as well. But uh, so I got an opportunity here to learn product management. Like it's it has helped me immensely as a technical writer because you need to you then understand the business side of things also apart from the technical side of things. The main core thing of product management is you're talking to customers directly. So it's about understanding their pain points and challenges, talking to them on periodic basis, and then coming up with strategies or coming up with features or enhancement that aligns with their future goals and aspirations. So very important for a technical writer if given an opportunity to expand your horizon and learn product management because it only be helpful for you in the longer run. Like you can also make an internal transition. Like if anyone who wants to be move into product management, I would say make an internal transition. If there is an opportunity within your organization, why not take it? Why not learn the tips and tricks of product management? It'll only make you better. So I think that if technical writer is given a choice to expand his horizon or take up job responsibilities outside writing i think he should he should take that okay perfect so this is question for senior technical writers right uh, since you are you are having now more than a decade uh, of experience so what metrics and you are also a lead so on what metrics you uh, uh, evaluate technical writers or your team members but yeah, one is obviously the writing skills. That's very important. We do, we're do we not looking for someone with flamboyance in their writing. I think they're looking for a simplistic approach when we are hiring writers for Siemens also. Like we are looking for writers who can write in simple, straight terms so that the end user who's actually using the product understands it. Very important. Second thing would be attitude, like how flexible the technical writer is understanding the processes and understanding the tools. That's very important. Uh, is he is he or she he willing to come out of his comfort zone and follow up like if the need arises is he capable enough to maybe go the distance and deliver the top notch quality that we're looking for so very important and then communication is one thing how easily he's able to communicate his requirements to external stakeholders or uh, conduct meetings that's very important so they, these are some of the key aspects that we are looking for when we are hiring technical writers. Attitude is one, communication skills, writing skills. These are top top three qualities that we are looking for when we are hiring technical writers. Okay. And apart from these metrics, uh, some, if any technical writer, he want to move from a senior technical writing to a lead position, right? Mm -hmm. So what should they learn? Uh, then I think apart from writing, you should be a you should uh, be a leader first i think you it's very important for you to project yourself as a leader take up responsibilities beyond your traditional writing job very important very important for you to take up additional responsibilities it could be talking to customers it could be understanding the growth strategy of the company it could be understanding the long term or short term goals of your customers so if you if you're leading an organization very important for you to not only train, groom the writers that you're working with, but also come up with a documentation plan or a strategy that you can implement in the organization, which so that it sets you apart from the traditional writers that are working only on delivering documents. So when you go a level up, it's important for you to define the strategy, define the roadmap, define the quality, define the metrics, and then go about implementing that in the longer run. That's what is expected from the writers who are actually leading the technical documents in most of the organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about people skill and people management? Do we also very need to important? I think, yeah, I think very important for you to actually manage people. 
it's it's crucial like most of the writers who make a transition from senior tech writer to a lead technical writer should learn the tips and tricks of people management because at the end of the day you're not only handling a team of writers but you're also dealing with a lot of uh, project stakeholders as well so it's very important for you to be transparent enough in how you're how you're communicating yourself or your ideas to different stakeholders but so people management is an important skill for any technical writer who is looking to move into a management profile okay perfect so apart from technical writing uh, we want to be a lead then we should uh, inculcate this kind of uh, learning in right. ourselves also right so we should keep ourselves investing uh, and uh, learn this uh, because these are the soft skills right uh, so we will have to learn right because it's not about people management it's about understanding people right how to deal with them how to respect them empathy a lot of things comes under that okay so right. so uh, now the question is uh, uh, is that somebody because i met a uh, people uh, sorry i met a person who said that he want technical writer but technical writers are not uh, doing the way he wants technical writer to work like like what they are saying that is what they are writing so is this the reason why technical writers are not respected because i learn from many technical writers that i am not getting respect in my organization so what yeah. do you see the reason why many technical writers are not getting that kind of respect what they deserve and do you also feel this way yeah i i don't want to pinpoint any of the organizations that i've worked with but i think yeah i still think that there's a problem with a lot of organizations not giving the due respect to a writer because it all at, at the end of the day it all comes down to the top management who's actually handling these team of writers so it all needs to come down from the top how they perceive technical writers i think most of the organizations do perceive documentation as a support group so they think that it is just a part of a product rather than being a core component of the product so very important for most of the people who are working as a technical writers to maybe make themselves maybe make the management aware of the value that they bring to the table very important if i see most of the teams not inviting tech writers to the meetings or they are inviting tech writers at the last moment just reject it as simple as that you need to take a firm step you need to be you need to be proactive enough if you think uh, that things are not working out maybe you should reach out to your management directly and maybe show them like the real value what the real value comes in so very important i think yes there's a that's a problem i see like most of the companies don't respect it but i still feel like most of the companies have started to understand the true value the product documentation brings in along with the business part of the revenue but so funds i think this mindset changes i think we'll see more of writers getting a lot of recognition but i think this mindset of being a support group needs to change that's true and now when i am into management role i say it a bit differently uh, i see sometimes technical writers or a tester right they start relying a lot on the support of developer or uh, smes right mm -hmm. so for everything they go and ask like should i write this or should i test this right so when uh, somebody start telling you when somebody start a spoon feeding you definitely they will start they will stop respecting you so technical right. writers or a tester or a developer my request is that play with the product and develop the knowledge of the product technically as well as in the business logic wise right why it is important right how it is prioritized and if it is prioritized why it is important so even sometime you can ask your Uh, PO also, you can challenge PO also. Like uh, rather than prioritizing this story, prioritize this story, right? Because technically right. it is required. So as a technical writer, also we should just stop thinking that we are a technical writer. We should be a product expert, the way you have done. Right? Uh, that's I like your uh, approach. The you have very good into product knowledge, and you are imparting that knowledge as well. So right. technical writers or tester whom so you are right, just learn right, and don't ask developer what to test. right if developer will start telling you what to test developer will start telling you what to write then definitely they are not going to respect you that is one uh, right. thing you should always keep in mind so sumit a lot of uh, we talk about work so what about your uh, experience so now you are a married man i think when you 
came to me that time he was a young boy so now you are a mature man right so uh, now but what is your hobby do you get time to pursue your hobbies uh, yeah so like i have a lot of hobbies like one is i mean i was into food blogging but i don't <laughs> being a fitness freak now and being taking care of your health like i have reduced that but i'm into content creation you'll see me me creating a lot of content on linkedin so that's one okay. thing i have i like to train mentor writers like it's been more than 5 to 6 years now i've been helping a lot of junior writers or newbie writers make a transition into this career so it, that's that's another part which i do uh, another part is sometimes i do freelancing and consulting as well when i do get time like some of the some of the organizations do reach out to me on linkedin directly so i do do that as well so apart from apart from moving out like i do like to spend a lot of time with my family being a corporate guy being being working with a us setup uh, i hardly get time on weekdays but i do make sure that i spend a lot of time with my family i have a kid as well 6 year old mm-hmm. so i make sure that i spend a lot of time with my family that's very important so these are my key interests that i like to do when appearing on podcast that was my dream as well that i wanted to achieve in 2024 so thank you so much for having me here thank you so much for your time apart from doing this you take out the time for me so it's a really pleasure for me but still i have uh, one more question for you uh, sure. before we uh, close this uh, what is uh, why you stop food blogging right it's so interesting thing to be in so why you stop that and do you blog only for delhi uh, outlets or you also travel across the india yeah i wanted to travel but i think with the time constraints and with the job in hand i think and also being i am being aging gracefully so i think it's important for you to take care of your health first food food is important but it's important for you to take your take care of your health first that's why food blogging took a back seat but i'll make sure that in 2025 i'll try to explore more places and maybe Let me suggest more places for the food lovers. Yeah, I will wait for that. Please give me the link. I will post uh, that link in the YouTube uh, uh, our description. So your LinkedIn and your uh, food blog, or sure. Whatever link you have, right? Even people, I will contact you. Tell if people want to connect with you for uh, mentoring or whatever, right? Uh, or consultancy, sure. they can uh, approach to you, right? So I will give in the description. So guys, if you want to connect with Sumit, uh, just open the description of YouTube. right there you can get him and you can find him on uh, linkedin as well sumit patra right are you on insta also yeah i'm on insta i do have my insta profile as well so i'll share all your all the links with you so yeah, that you can so share it properly you can get all the links in the description and you can search it he can be googled also i think right uh, yeah so yeah thank you sumit uh, thank you for your time and thank you for thank coming thank you sir thank you so much and, for uh, keep giving back to the community this is the culture of our communities right and uh, make right. other feel uh, other technical writers also uh, giving back to the society then only we can uh, improve technical writing in india and we can make a technical writer uh, india a technical writers hub right that is Absolutely. our vision and mission thank you thank you sumit thank you so much thank you bye bye bye